Hello, I'm Leon Vinehall. We're here in my studio in Tottenham, North London to take part in Amoeba's What's In My Bag, but the home edition. Hopefully there's something here for everyone to discover, to like or to dislike. First record that I want to share is this mini LP by 23 Skidoo. <laughs> They are a British noise punk, industrial punk band, still going I think. This is a record from the 80s. Their favourite track of mine is uh, called Kundalini, which is the first one on this. I still play it out all the time. I picked it up in Brighton when I was a lot younger. Uh, an old friend of mine named Ashley, who ran Well Rounded Records, which was the label that I first released some of my music on, had a record shop of the same name. And every time I'd go in, there would be a record pile yay high in front of me within two minutes. Uh, and this was just one of the many that Ashley gave me. Uh, I still play it now, still play it out. I've played it on NTS a bunch of times when I've done shows. Um, it's brilliant. The LP is a abrasive barrage of noise, but uh, in the best way. Um, highly recommend it. Second record I want to talk about is Jar Marcus's Words in Dub. I'm a huge fan of dub reggae. Um, really got into it in college actually me and my friends would drive around in my little green proton car <laughs> uh, which was a hand-me-down from my nan um, but it would get me to and from college and into town uh, and we'd drive around at lunch listening to King Tubby, Augustus Pablo, Scientists, all the good stuff but I uh, came across this record in uh, Shibuya at Disc Union in Tokyo whilst on tour uh, and it's released by a great label called Pressure Sounds that do lots of reissues of old reggae, rocksteady, dancehall. If you're into that type of music I really highly recommend that you check out this record and also check out Pressure Sounds as a label. Fantastic. This record is uh, a bit of a tribute to my mum I suppose. Uh, it was in her record collection, uh, she didn't have many records, maybe 40, 50, uh, but they all lived in this little um, sort of uh, leather suitcase and I'd flick through them. There'd be anything in there from Eric, Eric B and Rakeem to Deacon Blue to uh, Janet Jackson. And this one, Any Echo and the Bunnymen's Ocean Rain was one of them. Uh, obviously, The Killing Moon is the big song on this record, it was the main single, but uh, the last track, the title track, Ocean Rain, is my favourite. It's stunning. Uh, beautiful string arrangement, kind of got a bit of a Joy Division vibe. Um, it's, it's a beautiful beautiful song and this album's great. I mean, look at the cover. It's awesome. Next up is uh, a bit of Deep House classics, I suppose. Uh, Pepe Braddock. This record in particular, the one with four and Intrusion on, is a personal favourite of mine. A lot of people will probably know Pepe's stuff because of uh, Deep Burnt, sort of like a modern cult house classic. Samples, um, Little Sunflowers by Freddie Hubbard. This though is one of my favourites. I think this is sort of Pepe at his peak, really. Um, incredible sampling technique, use of melody, and obviously his rhythms and uh, drum programming was something that uh, is unmistakable really. 
yeah, love Happy Braddock. Um, I could have picked any of his records, really, but this is the one that came turned out on my shelf. Last one is uh, Mad Lib, Shades of Blue. Again, I could have picked any Mad Lib record, really. I discovered him uh, at college while studying music. Um, mainly, I think the first record I heard was Quasimoto, The Unseen, which then led on to Mad Villainy, uh, then all of his Medicine Show mixtapes. But this Shades of Blue one, I've always sort of come back to. It's just a really beautiful album. It's Mad Lib going through the archives of the jazz label Blue Note and rearranging all of these incredible, incredible Blue Note songs the only way that Mad Lib can. Um, if you haven't heard it, you should. Uh, it's great. I just love the arrangement of this album, all the little skits and interludes. Um, it's brilliant. Mad Lib's a genius and uh, hugely influential for me. I, I tell a lie, this is not the last one. I actually want to wanna bring in a CD. Um, this is called I Am The Center. It's a collection of American New Age music. It's beautiful. I, uh, I didn't know any of the artists actually when I bought this. I bought this in Edinburgh at a really great shop called Underground Solution. I was there the night before playing a show with my good friend Medlar and we went into the record shop the morning after, feeling a little fragile. Uh, for some reason I went towards the music concrete section. Doesn't really help on a hangover. But um, the guy behind the counter, who's a producer called Fudge Fingers, he saw me having a look through that and put on this. This is actually the, the last copy they had in the shop that I had to buy. And the song by Daniel Co Co Cabalca called Blue Spirals came on. It's, it's about a 10 minute long song. Uh, all twinkling sounds, swirling, cloning violins and a really like beautiful, steady drone. And the three of us just stood in the shop for 15 minutes, not moving, just completely mesmerized by the sound of this song and it brought me great solace in um more difficult times uh and i play i play a lot of uh tunes on this when i'm doing all night sets sort of at the start so as people are coming in or whatever um but yeah i'm the center beautiful record thank you amoeba for having me to do this uh i really hope that i can come across the pond and be in one of the shops sometime soon whilst on tour but until then thank you stay safe Cheers.